All right, so continuing right where we left off, we want to reveal our masked camera roll image. And what we're going to do is put an if let statement here right in the very beginning. We're going to say image data uh, as defaults, or you could say, well, I'll go with as defaults. That's what my notes have, but it's kind of more like from the defaults, from our NS user defaults. And uh, this is going to be NS data type. What we're going to do is uh, then make this equal to, uh, oh, and we've got our defaults right here, don't we? Defaults dot uh, so object for key. And of course, that key is going to be the same, the same one that we had right over top here, our camera roll picture. Uh, that is what is saving our picture in the NS user defaults. And uh, keep in mind, too, I'm not loading up the NS user defaults with pictures because if you did take more than one picture or whatever, it's it's going to uh, overwrite the other one. Uh, you know, let's resave it with the same key. And uh, then we're just testing to make sure that this is, you know, passes as NS data. So um, if that's a success, that means that, um, you know, you, you've, you've previously saved an image to the camera roll or gotten, from, gotten one from the camera roll and saved it to the NS user defaults. And in which case, we can um, go ahead and, and reveal it in place of our uh, placeholder. So I'm now going to write uh, let uh, some image, great vague <laughs> variable name, UI image, and um, we're going to uh, get, we're going to create this from our data. And if you remember earlier, we were able to create an SK texture from uh, a UI image. So you can kind of see where this is headed then. Basically, we're getting an image from data and then we're making a UI image from data and so on. So uh, this is going to be, of course, our image uh, data as uh, defaults. And just put a little exclamation point over there. Uh, now what we'll do is write if uh, let uh, placeholder, and of course we've already written this a few times, but I guess I'll just go ahead and put it in here, uh, equals self dot uh, child nude with name, camera role placeholder, and uh, we're checking to make sure that this passes as an SK sprite node, in which case we get to do everything that we got to do inside of here. So the first one then is going to be uh, get again, right? Uh, let text. This is going to be SK, SK texture equals SK texture. And then image. This is going to be our UI image that we just created. So of course, that is our. This is some image right there, and then we can kind of forget about some some image at that point. And then we're gonna what we're gonna do is write um, uh, let new image, and this will be sk sprite node is going to equal sk sprite node texture and text, and and this is actually the image that we're gonna see that we're gonna end up get masking in uh, just a little bit. Uh, if you want, you could um, you could give it a name. So, for example, new image dot uh, dot name. You might say you might make this equal to uh, adjust mask because that's actually one of the things that we're going to end up uh, doing with it later. And then we're going to write uh, new image dot size. This is going to equal our placeholder dot size. And now we get to play around with the crop node. And uh, this is uh, let uh, crop node. That's what we're gonna call it. Uh, SK crop node, and we're gonna make that equal to let's get crop node. This is um this is the fancy little uh, node that makes it so that we can actually uh, mask something. And we're gonna do this. Well, let me show you the, kind of the short way of doing it. You can put in here crop node dot uh, mask node is going to equal sk sprite node image named and then so for example like ours would be face mask right um, and now I'm looking at it yeah that's that's okay but what we want to do is actually set up our sk sprite node separate from this so like let's go line above here and um 
and then we can kind of actually conform the mask to do the same size as the placeholder as well. So we just kind of have to create this a little bit differently. And let's do it like this. So I'm going to say let. It's going to be the actual mask. I'll put in here actual mask for the name. SK sprite node. This is going to equal SK sprite node uh, texture. And uh, we're going to put in here SK texture image named. And again, for now, we'll just hard code, code this in as our face mask, but that could be passed into here. It's something different. And then uh, when you do it like this, you have to put in here color, which we're not going to use. So you can just put in here SK color dot clear color. And then you get the size option finally, which is going to be our placeholder dot size. So now when we define what our mask node is going to be, we're going to put in here that it is our uh, actual uh, mask. And it's funny because I'm actually looking back over my notes and I have a little typo in there. I forgot to delete out one. Okay, so um, way to check the code. Crop node dot add child. We're going to add our new image inside of the crop node. Okay, so this actually contains that image right here. And with our mask set up, you know, now it's masking out our image. And uh, we, we could test probably right now, but let's go ahead and just kind of wrap this up. We're going to say crop node uh, dot z position. This is going to equal our placeholder dot z position. And then our crop node dot actual position. That's also going to equal our placeholder dot position. Uh, let's, uh, let's give our crop node name. We'll give this a name of a camera roll picture and keep in mind we did that same thing over here right uh, so you know if uh, we need to put this back in but uh, we need to consider deleting out that uh, a node with that name if um, if if what yeah, if we if we use the camera roll more than once, and then finally uh, we should make our alpha our placeholder uh, dot alpha equal to um, to zero because well if I mean yeah we just don't want to be able to see it anymore and we we, sh we could have probably or should have even considered doing that just like from the start the adjusting the alpha is not going to uh, adjust the size or anything like that uh, so just um, yeah we should probably do that. Um, well, with the empty nodes, you don't see it, but over here, let's see. Oh, I don't know. Should we do it? No, let's just not worry about it for now. Uh, but let's uh, <laughs> let's delete out that. Uh, I know you guys are itching to test this, so here I'll just um, I'll just paste this in. We're gonna delete out that node if it already exists. So that way we can run this more than once. So we'll just put in here if let delete node sk sprite node equals self dot child name the name camera roll picture as sk sprite node. You know that's interesting. I um again another little issue with my code. We um I probably shouldn't be testing to see if that's a an sk sprite node because that wouldn't pass if it was an sk crop node. So we could just do this. Alternatively, we could just take all of this out of here. Well, you know what? I'll test to see if it actually exists. Maybe this is essentially what I'm doing. So, all right, let's uh, let's give it a shot, and I'll just again test on the iPad Air, and then we get to spend a lot of time adjusting where that mask is going to be at, assuming everything goes well here. So I click that, and ooh, what happened? Oh, you know what? Uh, I forgot one key step. <laughs> Did anybody else see this? I forgot to actually add the uh, the, the crop node to the scene. So self dot uh, add child I was off the leading nodes. I didn't even think about it. All right, so here we go.
Hey, that looks like a little smiley face right there. Uh, okay, so, well, this is a good sign, too, that um, I just loaded up, and it's already in there, and apparently it's already being cropped because we're not seeing the outer edges of this. Um, you know, we could, we could of course, test that by making that somewhat transparent, uh, but uh, let's... Oops, actually, no, I didn't mean to get rid of that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, replace it with a different image, and so we'll go grab... What about this guy right here? Okay, that uh, that definitely uh, seems to be working. Yet another Ewok fantasy, uh, a waterfall with uh, no trees around. So uh, let's um, let's build this again real quick, and uh, you know we'll leave the time running, and I'll just talk over this so you can see that there's no shenanigans. And look, there it is. The image is magically back. A different image than the one that we had before and of course we could just keep doing that changing the images around and uh, building this yet again and again keep in mind that it, uh, it's using our image that uh, got saved to the NS user default so it's always going to be there uh, so uh, I guess yeah now the next thing we need to, we need to consider is uh, how we are going to adjust that mask and uh, and save those offset uh, settings over time. And you know what? It is uh, it is something of a big topic. So let's do this. Let's come back in uh, yet another video where we get to just talk solely about moving the uh, the mask around. And of course, you know, if you want to kind of play around ahead of time, you could uh, you could test. You know, just. Uh, clicking anywhere on the screen and, and bumping this a child with the name of a just mask around so yeah there you go